Yo guys, what is up? Hope you're doing good today. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the fundamentals and some top tips I have for when you're trying to win more uh, GBs or wagers or UMGs when playing S&D. So let's get started. Alright, so I want to start off with three basic points I want to go over before I get into like the fundamental stuff of S&D. And that is build, getting a team together. And this is really important because you want to get a team that's not gonna separate or split because you lost a couple of times so it's really important to build team chemistry this is really important and once you got your team together learn how to communicate good with your team and learn all the map callouts and this is key because in SND it's all about communication and playing smart now the third point is learn all the maps that you were going to play in that competitive ladder and by learning i mean you should know where all the prenade spots are what spots you shouldn't go to so you don't get prenaded all the commonly used spots that people like to camp or the corners they like to use to defend certain areas and you should know your rush routes what i mean by knowing your rush routes is when you're doing a rush you should know where to expect your enemies so you're not caught by surprise and yeah that's the third point now now let's move into the fundamentals all right so the first fundamental i want to go over is um defending the correct way in snd and defending is all about taking control of the bomb sites and once you do that their next goal is to try to figure out where the enemy team is going and once you figure out where they're going then you need to communicate with your teammates so you can try and pinch them together and try to get some kills and, you know get some picks so yeah, that's pretty much what you need to defend the correct way. Now, I want to go over some common mistakes I usually see new players make, and it's three common mistakes. And the first one is rushing too much on defense. There is no need to rush that much on defense because you just have to defend. So you just want to camp a corner in the bomb sites or watch a line of sight where you can get a pick. And sometimes, you know, rushing all sometimes is not bad, but you don't want to be doing it every round you know use it as a like a trick up your sleeve just to get them by surprise sometimes you know and yeah that's the first thing i see people do wrong now second mistake i see people do a lot is when the enemy team takes control over a bomb site what new teams usually do is they won't try to gain back the control of that bomb site and this is just really bad because that's just going to allow the enemy team to set up the plant and to like camp corners in the bomb site and 90% of the time I would say if the enemy team sets the plant you're screwed because it's gonna be really hard to kill them and yeah that's just like if they take over a bomb try to get in there and regain control you know play for trades or something or try to do something at least now the third mistake and this is a big one is when your team doesn't rotate bomb sites properly or fast enough so this is basically when your teammates call out that the enemy team is going to a certain bomb site you want to have the rest of the team come help you or at least send one more to that bomb site and leave one at the other in case they try to rotate back so yeah this is a really big one so every time you see the enemy team pushing a bomb site communicate that to your teammates so they can rotate over to you and help you out and this will allow you to successfully defend the bomb site more often so if you tie all these things together you're gonna increase your chances of winning defense more often so try to tie all these things together and practice it till you perfect it and yeah you're gonna see a lot of improvement if you follow these things now let's move on all right so the last fundamental i want to go over is attacking the correct way and attacking is really simple it's all about overloading and attacking as a team to one bomb site so try to come up with some offensive strategies so everyone knows what they have to do at the beginning of each round and usually you want one guy watching the flank at all times and the other people should be working together to gain control of a bomb site now you can throw this out of the window and maybe once in a while send your whole team to attack a bomb site but then, after you gain control, make sure you watch the flank so your team doesn't get killed from behind. Alright, so let's talk about what you can do once you take control of a bomb site. Well, there's a couple things you can do. 
one of them is set up the bomb plant. And if you set up the bomb plant, you're pretty much going to have the round win if you play it smart and correctly. The only downside to playing the bomb straight away is that you can get prenated. Or sometimes you might get picked if your teammates don't watch you correctly or protect you. So yeah, that's the first thing you can do. Another thing you can do is if you have control of the bomb site, just set your team around it and wait for the enemy team to try and check the bomb. And when the enemy team tries to do that, your team should be able to get a couple kills there. And once you get those kills, then you can set up the bomb and defend it. And this is this one's really useful most of the time because most teams are going to check the bomb if you have control of it. At least they're going to send one guy to check it and that's a free kill right there. So this is a really effective strategy to use against a team. And the final play that you can make is um, once you gain control of a bomb site, the enemy team's usually going to send their team to try and take control of that or not let you plant. So what you want to do is get control of the bomb site and then rotate back through your spawn or the enemy spawn to the other bomb site. And if done correctly, sometimes also it involves a little bit of luck. You're going to be at the other bomb site and the enemy team is going to be at the other one and you're going to you're going to get a free plant. It's just going to be easy, but I wouldn't recommend this one, you know, it's kind of risky. So use it every once in a while. So that's pretty much all you need to win most of your SND games. And if you keep practicing on these things, I can assure you, you're going to win a lot more games easily. Now I quickly want to go over some tips that I think are really important when playing SD. The first one is to play for trades. So if you can't get into an area, at least try to trade kills with the enemy. Number two, be smart and don't get into unnecessary gunfights. Number three, Always try to switch up your play so you are unpredictable. Number four, use extreme conditioning in the first 15 seconds of the match to get an advantage, then switch to the class you want to use. Number five, switch up your pre-grenade throws. Sometimes do them fast and other times delay them so you can keep your enemies guessing. Number six, always try to check all your corners. Number seven, camp unpredictable corners to surprise enemies. Number eight, sound whore your enemy. Number nine, Crouch when you know there's enemies near you so they can't hear your footsteps. And number 10, always communicate everything to your teammates. So that's pretty much it guys. Those are the fundamentals of Search and my top tips for when playing it. And now I'm just going to let this game clip play out if you guys are interested in finishing it. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and share with your friends. Peace out guys. There's another one in Dirt House, I think. That's me, don't shoot me. Go check Dirt House. On our mid! On our mid stairs, any help? I got him. I saw him. Nice save. Check the mini map at a perfect time right there. You wanna rush A? Yeah. I'm gonna rush mid stairs. Alright, wait for the nades at A. Cool, and then we'll I push the rest get of get through, fuck. Nah, I could've gotten through, they didn't nade. Fuck. Alright, get ready, get to emo corner on one of you. Go. How do you not see me, fucking dummy? Top green, oh, uh, got top, top green, green. got top green. Big top street or second plant. I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm up here. Yeah, Watch middle, 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 middle's open, middle's open. Oh no, he's got him. I got middle, I got middle, I got middle. I stunned something. That's your stun. I'm planning. That's me, that's me, that's me. That's me. Oh my god, I'm spawning. Run up, run back up. Get down, get down. He's still there. Windows, right there. Check that corner in there, yeah. He ran away. So he's playing middle. You know he's playing middle now. He has no idea where you are, so you're good. He knows what I'm saying. Is that Tim and Dirt? No, no, no. It's not.
So you know it's top street or something. If you have the patience, you can wait. I throw a stun. Throw and then try to bait him. Hit this. Hey, go with Take those gameplay real quick. So obvious. But <laughs> oh, just run, just run, you want. You run one if you don't die. Yeah. Oh, good shit. Sorry, I was in it. <laughs> oh my god, it was 13 when you fought him, dude. I know, I was in it when though. That kid was smarty with Hegler's bomb. I was. I remember halfway through that, that Joseph was a freaking beast at 1v1 clutches, and uh, ever since I saw him playing a bunch of singles, I was like, I think he's gonna win. Oh, oh. shut up. Serious. How do you play a lot of singles? No, he does, but he's doing Seven and out. Got one crossing, then cross down. He's nading flat, nading flat. Got one. I nice. just stunned you. Watch me pick up mid stairs, I'm going flat. Yeah. Okay, I got on our stack of I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. Bomb down. Uh, dirt. Oh, it's Oh, fuck! He's right in front of me. He's uh back, back, very back. Uh, hey, like uh back planners. Ruben's on bomb. Ruben's on the bomb. Oh, that's them. Uh... I guess you got him trapped, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, technically. Yeah. I saw him retreat. Ruben on the trash can. He's looking at you, Ruben. Oh, Ruben, he's looking man. at you. He's gonna come down B stairs. One hundred percent sure. Right. Hey, like, oh, we're awesome. left. Go just to the right of this green hallway and lie down. The back corner. You see him playing B. I know. Be right here. Yeah, perfect. Just lay down. What's the difference? Whatever. So that he doesn't see you. Where's bomb down? You saw him, you saw him back alley. His back alley was where the bomb was down. Back alley dirt. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Saw him again, he went right now. Yeah, he's right, right there. Yeah. yeah. Thank God you prevented the one before, dude. Glad you all have eagle eyes. I didn't see him at all. It's a lesson. Somebody, yeah, because it seems like everybody who's alive is blind. I'm, I'm not actually that was hard to see though for you, but everybody. I'm saying in general. I don't know. So I, I'm getting yelled at that I don't see it. I see Ruben not seeing things. I see everybody not seeing things all the time. But whenever I'm dead, but I don't know. I don't know. Well, you just got to think when you're you're one person. Looking at a thing, your eyeballs can't focus on that whole screen. There's three other pairs of eyeballs. Market stairs. Yeah, I, sure. I plan a fucking. You got the guy pushing us. Six inch TV. You got the guy Mark stairs. No, I got the guy who pushed B. There's one there Technically, Marcus B stairs. is clear. Check platform. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's always just... there's always one side. B is clear. Plant, 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 plant. Watch middle, watch middle. I'm gonna get middle. fucking dirt. Planning. Got it set up. Bomb. Except I'm, I might die because I'm not 16 in me. Ah, that bait, right X. <laughs> Stop street platform Flat. right now. Hit him with the deagle. Good game. <sighs> oh. 
Damn, Def, I played bad. Joseph took my spot. We switched. Well yeah, you're random. This is usually your spot. Yeah, you're random. 